Welcome to Wild World News. Get the hell out of here. No way. Hold on. In here checking my uh, comments on my on just beating Resident Evil and professional, and the, f the only comment there is that they heard this. Get the hell out of here! I don't see it on the front. Let me let me go to Google. Wow, TMZ. Oh my God. Man, I really like Jerry. Man, let me tell you something. When his show came out, yo, know, there was a point I remember when people, it was just the talk. You know what I mean? Of you know, you were at work. People were talking about it, and I kept hearing, "You they they saying he's beating Oprah, he's beating Oprah." I'm like, "What? He beats Oprah in the ring?" I'm like, "What? I gotta see this show." I heard about it, seen stuff, man. And Jerry Springer introduced me to trans women. Man, remember, they kept doing that. They kept bringing on people who they were like, look, I'm not who you think I am. And they would tell the dude and they would start fighting. And oh, my God, all types of stuff on there. Cheaters, racist stuff. I remember he had the Klan on. The Klan dude said that he hated him, right? To, and Jerry's about to jump on him. No, like, that show was nuts. Nuts. A lot of people called it trash and this and that after a while. I think after the novelty of the fighting and the craziness wore off. And, um, you know, then, like, I actually know someone who was paid to be on the show. And, like, after all of the reality of it, I think um, I, I think what it was, it just it, they, they couldn't really find people to do, to, to, to tell these stories. I think it kind of got kind of old. So they started hiring actors at one point to do stuff. And you know, this, they didn't, they didn't then let them fight anymore. And you know, if they did, they, they would miss and be, you know what I mean? It was like other shows did that stuff too, but man, the heyday of when it was real. Oh my God, man. I remember lunchtime, we was in the break room watching Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer time. I have friends that went, that got tickets to go see him. They's like, yo, I got to see this in person. So, um, man, Jerry I've definitely made his mark on television, being able to beat the most popular Daytime television show host of all time, Oprah. So it says here that uh, Jerry Springer is one of the most influential and controversial figures in TV history. He has died. TMZ has confirmed. Jerry hosted Smash It syndicated talk show, Jerry, the big Jerry Springer show, for 27 years and it was never a boring moment on the raucous and wild show, which was known for its outrageous guests usually got into crazy fights as the audience cheered, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. And I remember when, in the beginning, when people started che cheering that, he would be like, why are you cheering my name? I didn't do anything. <laughs> like, which I thought was weird too. Like, Jerry didn't do nothing. Like, when Jerry didn't do nothing, they would just be fighting they would chant Jerry. I'm like, that doesn't make no sense, but I guess they're like, yo, it's your show, man. So we chanting your name. Um, it says here, the family spokesperson says Jerry was battling a brief illness. 
A sore, our sources tell us it was pancreatic cancer and that it was diagnosed a few months ago. This week, he took a turn for the worse. A spokesperson says he died Thursday morning peacefully at his home in Chicago. So I guess he died in his sleep. Um, before TV, he was a politician and who ran in failed campaign for U.S. Congress in 1970. He got elected in Cincinnati's City Council in 1971, and he became the mayor, the city mayor in 1977. He served one term, but Springer became a worldwide sensation with his show, which debuted in 1991. Lord, I graduated in 1995. Most people won't remember this, but when he started, Jerry's show focused on political issues. Hmm, all right. Well, wait a minute now. I think I did see some, some early shows. Uh, of course, it would eventually became the exact opposite end of ratings smash. Jerry's show was so popular in the late 90s, it even topped Oprah Winfrey's in several cities. Springer finally went off the air in 2018. He made one more run in TV with his courtroom sh show, Judge Jerry. I didn't know about that, which ran for three seasons. I didn't know that. Now I'm going to look it up and watch it. Jerry's last TV appearance came last season on The Masked Singer where he performed as the Beatle, singing a Frank Sinatra classic. We're told cancer, his cancer battle got much worse about a month ago, and he finally had to stop working. He had been hosting a folk music show on local radio station in Cincinnati. He survived by his daughter, Katie Springer, and his older sister, Evelyn. Yeah, I never knew if he was married or anything like that. Wow, man. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer, man. That was a... Hey, hey no matter what you think, man, that show... I, 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 I think even if you start to hate it and not like it because it was just... After a while, I got bored with it because like, it was like the same stuff over and over and over again. But, uh, it man, I was a fan. I was a big fan. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. 10 million subscribers.